hi guys hope you are doing great today I'm going to talk about a uh, building a dashboard within the spot fire uh, click sense click view tableau power bi and various bi tools so let's start with uh, a spot fire. so right now the data what I have is the adventure works data um, so basically I'm going to pick a couple of scenarios from this database so one of my scenario is a product dashboard. So which means like uh, as a director of my own company, I would like to understand what are the products I'm dealing with and how the sales on sales going on of these products by day, by weekly, by monthly, quarterly and year, so on. So I would like to know what is the product, unique product names and what category this product belongs to and what are the subcategories and what is the actual cost, standard cost of the product and the list price so I made a couple of lists um, to build this dashboard as as my product backlog so uh, so let's start with the data and let's look into this data um, and then um, even if you guys have uh, any more scenarios so you no know, you know we can add it to our list and then we can add that list to our dashboards and we can enhance this dashboard from uh, uh, from everyone's point of view you know so um, so these are all my list basically I would like to show uh, within my um, dashboard so I, I'm trying to build this dashboard within the spot fire right now once it is done I'm going to move it to the click view and the click sense uh, and other BI platform so let's start let's look into the dashboard uh, not to waste more time and uh, first let's look into the data how the data looks like right so so the adventure data works is basically a free data uh, warehouse which has been provided by the Microsoft so I basically I loaded the data um, I uh, so uh, I uh, loaded this into the SQL server so let's see what what we have like what type of schemas we have basically so what happens you know after loading this data warehouse of adventure works how it looks like so so once it got loaded right so once we attach this database so I quickly go into the tables right so after going into this tables what I can see is there are so many tables um, there are so many tables each of these tables are, are in different database objects or we can call it a schema so you can see here this specific department table is under human resource uh, schema or the database object even the address when you look into the address address type all the business information is also is part of the persons and also like the product related information when you look into the product related information you can see it belongs to a production schema so where you can see all the product product category uh, transactions and all the other stuff we do have some sales information so it's it's very good that you know these data has a different schema so we can easily understand what data belongs to what uh, uh, specific uh, department so consider this database as an object as a schema as a specific department so now you know that to which department this data belongs to right so now I, I would like to see the product so what is this product table what type of data this product table has and what exactly I would like to uh, show this data within my spot file right so I just quickly ran this my uh, select star uh, from this uh, data and then I just saw it has a product ID and the product name and the product number which is a unique number of course of each of this uh, product name so um, we do have some mark flags basically I want to see uh, from this table is what are all the products available right now uh, into the market um, and then what is the standard cost of the product right what is the standard cost I means standard cost let's say in fact um, you can find the standard cost even you know open the table and basically you can double click on that specific column name you see I double clicked and then you go into the extended properties so they gave some small description of that but it's not that detail here but in some cases you can definitely identify what exactly that value is my idea of the standard cost is basically you know once the product is built how much it cost for the company to manufacture that and what is the list price so how much price uh, what is the 
price of, or that product into the market. So that is what the list price. Um, so and like what is the size unit measure core weight management. So some of the data is null. Um, and uh, so and also we do have some class and styles. So let's see. Uh, I think it's sorted by some null values initially, but when you definitely look into the uh, uh, these colors of this product and the mm, and standard price which is showing here as a uh, seven hundred and forty seven dollars of of the specific product and um, thousand three hundred and sixty four actually the list price what they are uh, uh, showing in the market as of now and then uh, what is the unit of measure it is cm centimeters or um, something like that and then is it in pounds so or how much is the weight so it's in LB so not in the kilogram so it's for pound it's 2.68 pounds so how many days to manufacture to this product it took two days and then product line so yeah so when you look into the product line right so here when you look into the product line you can click on the external properties to see there are four different categories of product lines one is R stands for road, M stands for mountain, T stands for touring, and S stands for standard. That's what I meant, right? So you don't know when you look into this product line initially, but um, when you define, when you open this uh, specific column name, and when you look into the action properties, they have defined what M stands for, right? So you know uh, what is this column belongs to. Um, so we do have some high class types. Again, we do have high class, medium class, low class, so I, I, I pretty much get all the information from this table, but um, but when I look into my uh, product backlogs, basically, I also wanted to see the sales, so which I'm getting it from this list price and where I can see uh, what is the uh, price of this product for daily basis. So sales, how many sales has happened, and I want to see the product name. So I, got, I get the product name here. Uh, I can see the product name, but uh, I don't understand to which category this product belongs to, right? So if you look into this um, lock ring, I don't know which product category it belongs to, what is the subcategory of that. So now I would like to understand the subcategory product um, names and the, what is the product category it belongs to. Uh, so the so that's the reason we have, uh, we have multiple tables of data. So these are all linked with the different IDs basically that's what like RDBMS so it's basically an OLTP uh, which is online um, uh, transaction uh, prototype so basically uh, you can uh, uh, once you connect this to a website basically from website you can able to select these products you can able to update these products you can delete this project but when it comes to a, a reporting standing point of view it should be an OL, OLAP um, online analytical processing so basically uh, you need to join so the reason uh, we would like to create this you know tables instead of loading all these tables into a, a BI tools like Spotfire or um, any other tools so we would like to combine or join all these tables together and create a view so once you create a view you will have the clear understanding of this view okay now do we have the product information in this one single view or do we need to add more columns to this view, right? Let's get started. So uh, I saw this product, but I would like to find my my product category. So I have a table and let's see what, what IDs we have. We do have product ID here. We have something table, some table name called product category and I open the columns. I can see product category ID. Here we do have product ID, but I'm trying to find, do we have any product category ID so that I can join these two tables together, right? So I see product category here, but I do, I see the product. This is my product subcategory ID. Um, okay, so, so let's see. Uh, we have product ID here we do have some product description we have some product inventory so these are all having um, product let's see first what do we have in this product category and then we can identify the relation so 
so we have this product so this is where i can see the to which category it belongs to right it's bikes components clothing and all the stuff so maybe we have to look into the product subcategory and then we may need to check for the product id category ID, right yeah there you go so so basically you have to join first with the product subcategory table which is this one um so um yeah so basically i have product id in this main product table we do have product id we do have a uh, um product so from here we have some product subcategory id and then we can join this product subcategory id to this one and then this table has a join to this product category by using a uh, a foreign key here product category ID. let's join these three tables together so that you know uh, so that we should be able to achieve these type of products right so let's see um so now i selected this table and then i gave alias as a product as a p and then i'm just doing inner join so join i would like to join my product subcategory first so I copied it, I pasted it here. I'm calling this product subcategory. So on which IDs I would like to join? So on, so I'll just enter this so that you know, it can break uh, the statements into multiple the go. So now let's see on P dot product subcategory ID is equal to PSC which is my alias name of the table and from this i would like to join product subcategory id right so now we made the join so you don't see any errors here so we have some join here now i would like to i would like to build the columns which i want to so um i want what columns i would like to see let's run this query once again what are all the columns we need so we can pick those columns here so what columns i want p dot i want the product name name so i would like to give a more clear a name for this i will call this as a product product name product name so this will give me more idea of what exactly this column name right the name can be many things it can be a person name it can be any other name right so i want to understand so that's the reason i named it as my product name um maybe i can i i want to add what color this product belongs to probably so let's say i want like to see the colors and like we do have some safety stock levels and recorder points we'll we'll discuss in the later points and then let's see if we can add this to the dashboard or not but i can give you an explanation of these safety stock level and record points later in the later session so what else do we need to know yeah we would like to know the standard cost of the product which is my standard cost of the product um also um list price p dot list price i would like to see uh, i'm gonna skip this size unit measures and days to manufacture and uh, maybe uh, let's see class product line yeah we can include this product line in the class um, so p dot product line and uh, p dot class and um, p dot style style um we do we got this thing sell so start date i mean like since when uh since when we are selling these products right so that's important information so since when we are selling this information till when we sold this uh products right so so p dot cell start date so p dot cell end date p dot cell end date okay and so hopefully we got most of the columns from this product table so let's 
so to keep this thing everything in one single order right so now i would like to add up uh, from product subcategories i would like to uh, add the name just the name from the product subcategory so i would like to add it right here not in the end so that you know i want to keep the column names in the right order so i would like to call psc dot dot product subcategory not product subcategory why do i want product subcategory it's they are all basically i want name psc dot name so this name i would like to call as my product sub category name all right this makes some sense now now why this showing error here because we do have some comma here that's the reason uh so now what else i would like to add the product category to identify to which category it belongs to right so i would like to do one more join from this table so first i need to write from and then from wait a second so it's not from it's join join and then i would like to call this as a product category and from product category i would like to join on psc which is my product strategy product subcategory table dot product category id is equal to product category table dot product category id from here and i'm sure there is a product category also has a name so i would like to add uh this one i called it as pc right product category dot product category or oh, name right so name i would like to call as product category name so let, let's give the capital letter c l product product this should be capital this should be capital now let's run this query and uh, let's see uh, what data are we getting right um so f5 or click on execute so now here is the data i have so I've, i got this data like this is my product name and this is my product subcategory name so basically uh these are the components so it is it's the components of the road uh road work components basically um individual components that's being sold um and also you can see mountain bike socks and uh, medium i guess so it's subcategory socks but basically there belongs to clothing and you can really see which color the socks is or belongs to and what is the standard cost and how much the company is selling for like 9.5 dollars so and it's sell date l sell start date is on 2012 but it ended on the price list price which has been ended on 2012 Zero five twenty nine. So, I would like to show this in a dashboard, right? So let's put this data together and let's make uh, a dashboard within the spot fire. Um, so um, I'm going to stop this video right now, and uh, we can have a uh, uh, another part, another um, uh, session building a dashboard. So right now, what we saw is building the data in the SQL by creating a uh, select uh, by joining all these tables together. Right? All right, guys. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.